Rachel. Get in the boat, get in the boat, get in the boat. <laughs> I got it. Hey, that was, that was nice. That's a big one, isn't it? That's a good one, yeah. There's another finder up here. No, y'all go ahead, I'm filming. Um, Watch out, watch out. Alright, alright. Are you gonna shoot it, Blake? Are you gonna shoot it? Dark You gonna tail? Yeah. Got it. Hold on, Rachel. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> that's pretty cool. <laughs> two in the boat. You got two of them. Good job, Rachel. Two on this boat. There you go. <laughs> Where are you putting them, girl? Hold on. Congrats. First one. Let's get it. Let's get it. We're out here in Galveston, Texas, cruising down this mud flat. One of the things you're going to notice here is the tide is pretty dang low. Earlier on, on this night before the sun went down, Captain Eric with Night Moves again and gigging took us out to one of his other spots to scout it. I mean, the tide was so low that the boat was dragging bottom and we couldn't even get there. So, this was actually a backup spot, but it turned out to be pretty good. One of the things we like about these mud flats is that whenever you, you know you're in a good spot, is you get out and you try to walk up to a flounder and you're just going to sink down to your knees. Flounders seem to like to lay on this really soft mud, at least that's what we've seen. So right here, right here. we're gonna get back to it here. Come here. Get him. The mash down, mash down. Mash down, mash down. Mash down. Alright, turn, turn his head. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're good, you're good. Turn his head out towards the bank. Alright, now work him around. Here one. Alright, there you go. Then. Point towards the bank. There you go. Rachel right here, this is her actual second flounder she's ever gigged. The first one she gigged earlier on in the video. And so it's really cool to get new people into the sport. And we encourage you to do the same. Get your friends in the game. are running Swamp Eye lights. You've got the Swamp Eye light bar up top and the Swamp Eye submersibles underneath. Both of these lights are color tone adjustable from warm white to full white for clear muddy waters. We typically see warm white does better in the muddier waters while cool white does better in the clearer waters. We're using both color tones throughout this video. This underwater footage shows you how muddy this water really is. It doesn't appear that way in the videos, but the color tone adjustability of our Swamp Eye lights has done a really good job at increasing our visibility and helping us see more flounder. Oh, there's a fish right Oh, there we go, Megan. Get him all video. Big one! Mm. 
a monster stingray on the other side of the boat. I thought they were trying to screw with me because I was out in the water, but we never did get it on video. I never even saw it, but I'll have to believe them, I guess. Our good buddy Blake Bird bowfished this flounder. He was sitting in about three foot of water. It all happened so quick that we couldn't even get the cameras ready. But man, this is a huge fish. He's 25 inches and weighs six pounds. If we had our Bowfishing Association of America registered scales with us, he would have qualified to be a Texas state record fish. This guy was huge. This flounder was on the verge of probably 14 inches. At the time of this video, that was a legal flounder. But he was too small for us. We kept moving along. No way. You like suck it down the field of ground. Okay, never mind. I thought I saw him, I just wanted for sure. That's a fatty. I don't mess up too much, huh? No. I got him in his, I got him in the elbow. Can't go wrong. He's trying to make him feel bad. Like trimming that stuff. I seen what you did. <laughs> I seen what you did. Yeah, that's what you did. Yeah, that's what you did. Yeah, that's what you did. Yeah, now, what would that fish weigh in October, end of October? You think he would have masked up? This has been a nine pounder. Nine pounder. Oof. So a third of their weight they could gain in the cooler water. Yeah. Well, so that what they do with these fish, like the fish like this, start getting ready to go offshore. Yeah. They go offshore and that's where they, they spawn. Right. And uh, so they get out, they start just fattening up for their, their, their trip. Yeah. And uh, dude, I've, I've stuck a big flounder that, uh, I mean, they'll have, a fish like this would have an eight inch mullet in its belly. Right. And still be eaten. Yeah. Be pushed up on a flat still eating. So it'd be just it just like any other fish prepping for spawn. Or yep. a deer, so to speak. He's getting conditioned for rut. Yep. You know, he's trying to get all this stuff straight for rut. That bot the crappy side belly side is bigger than yeah. one of the, big the side other play. ones. Yep. Yeah. Well I wanna make sure y'all eat good look. There's your pie ran right there in your disc in. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to have him shooting a few things from the other fish and stuff in the back, so I'd watch the fish take out from under the boat. Yes, like sir. That. 